Okay, good. Good afternoon. So we are about to start our next exciting event uh, on this program. This will be a reenactment of the performance that first uh, happened in uh, 1974 in Moscow. The performance called Art Belong to People. And uh, back then, the uh, three volunteers who didn't have an artistic background uh, produced a painting on a, on a kind of a socialist realist painting on the subjects from the news. Uh, this performance was repeated in 1984 in the performance place called The Kitchen in New York. And uh, um, there was also the, the subject from the, um, uh, so, so, so there was also painting under the direction of Comer and Melamid. And I will um, actually um, give the mic to Vitaly and Alex, uh, who were there, and uh, who would explain and uh, tell about their ex previous experiences. And uh, this will be, again, the, the, each of the previous performances was, were different because they were different, done in different contexts. And uh, we will have a new experience today with the reference to the uh, this historical events. And I hope this event will also become a historical event. And <laughs> of course, um, um, but uh, so I will, without further delay, I will give the mic to Vitaly first and then to Alex and then we, oh, okay. And then we will start. I have to make a little addition uh, and uh, it was also third performance in Italy uh, in San Arcangelo uh, kind of art festival uh, is different subject. Uh, I like to tell you about my remembrance of first performance in Moscow because first time in my life I was arrested during this performance. Uh, uh, it was private apartment of Alex uh, and four person who never uh, paint before by our order paint a canvas. Subject was very patriotic, very socially, social realistic. We pay a role of government, of, uh, I pay a role of Lenin, I believe, but I'm not bold yet. Uh, and uh, uh, Alex pay, pay role of Stalin. That's, uh, and uh, it was quite fine. Uh, everybody was very excited. Uh, but suddenly was ring to apartment. And three looks like bodyguard boys came and said, what is the red spots on the floor? Is it blood? It's some sacrifice in this room? something. Everybody was laughing, all spectators. They thought it's a part of performance. <laughs> but later, when all of them was taken downstairs to gray uh, uh, cars, which belong to secret police, and all of us was delivered to uh, uh, the police, I was first time arrested together with all spectators. It was very important event for me because I spent all night with patriarch of uh, Russian underground uh, art, uh, Oscar Rabin. He was, he was among of spectators and uh, we became him in the same room, of prison room. And we discussed what to do, what's going on with uh, underground art. Because some rumors said that it will be a liberalization, et cetera, et cetera and how to show our words, because you must understand very simple thing, that all galleries, all museum belong to government. It was not private property in um, Soviet Union. That means without permission of special office of government, you couldn't show your works anywhere. Only in your apartment, in the kitchen, possibly. Uh, that means how to show works. Uh, and that was a born idea. Uh, I remember it was magazine, art magazine from Poland. And they said that Polish artists show their works on the open air show, outdoor show. 
And that was the beginning how we start to discuss uh, uh, Alex, me, uh, Oscar Rabin, and another artist start to discuss first bulldozer show when not only uh, Alex, my work, and another artist was destroyed by government. Because instead of spectators, together with spectators, bulldozers came and start to destroy all our show. Uh, and uh, it was a very tragic experience, but in some way it was funny, of course, as usual. Russia, it's tragic comedy always. Uh, and uh, that's all my story about first performance. Uh, <laughs> that's how it was hap happened. That's what I can share with you. And now we have to uh, found the... Uh, yes, uh, I uh, uh, also wanted to, uh, to ask Alex to say a few words about the second performance in the kitchen. And then uh, we will um, uh, start. performances, but you know, they were almost 50 years ago. Uh, in my advanced age, it's very hard to get into the spirit of a person who is 50 years younger than myself. Mm -hmm. But the whole thing was, uh, you know, as far as I remember, it was a rebellion against uh, what surrounded us. Not only in Russia, but later on in the kitchen because America seemed to me as ugly as Russia at that time. <laughs> it was not, but uh, on a personal level, the art that surrounded us was terrible. And we just talked with just Rob, I talked that, uh, that uh, the 20th century that, uh, made the three major ideological mistakes. It was Marxism, Freudianism, and modernism. Thank God we got almost free from two of them. But <laughs> modernism is still holds us and drags us into the disastrous world of the 20th century. And art is a leader of the worst in human, uh, uh, in, in humans. And uh, I just got it, no, not this paper. No, no, maybe. No, hold on. I have many. This one? No, this is not right. <laughs> but anyway, you have to pay attention to, mm, uh, in that's one of these rooms, there is a, ah, here it is. Uh, it's, uh, I just uh, established the Freedom from Art Foundation, not a long time ago, and I want to read you the statement. The Freedom from Art Foundation, FFAF, <laughs> is a non-profit organization devoted to promoting the truth about the corrosive effect of the false ideological notion that is called fine art. <laughs> As a, and uh, that has supposedly a beneficial value for humanity is carried out by the paternalistic authorities and their educational organization. The goal of the FFAF is to unshackle individuals from the fetters of fine art, a semi-religious conception that has been imposed over the last century by intellectual and minded big art cabal, the scum of the earth. The FFAF will lobby Congress and local representatives to exclude any and all compulsory art education and abolish the tax exempt status of art institutions in accordance with the first amendment of the US Constitution. To those addicted to fine art, we offer personal art detoxification services. <laughs> so I beg you to come to this room and to fill out and to join our organization. There is, uh, you know, uh, and that's what this performance is about. <laughs> this <laughs> so, yeah. 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 
So uh, we will begin now, and um, uh, we will uh, divide the, the group. Uh, part of people will be paint under direction of Alex, and part of people under direction of Vitaly. So if somebody is disagreeing with uh, uh, Alex's statement, uh, they can do something else. Uh, let's keep the tradition of two-party system. Uh, uh, and uh, I propose... Uh, subject for this two canvases, uh, volunteers, of course. Uh, if nobody agree, it's okay with me. Uh, uh, which related in metaphorical way with war of Russia in Ukraine. Uh, in ancient, uh, uh, f let's say, philosopher or fairy, fairy tales, fables, after the Aesop had a wonderful uh, fable about bear and dirt. Uh, one of this, fa this fable was subject of my painting, which you can see in lobby. Uh, bear uh, fighting with a bird, and bird finally, according to this, uh, mm, uh, this fable uh, was win. Actually, in original uh, fable, it was not bird, it was um, bees. Uh, but Ivan Franko, Ukrainian poet and philosopher, changed this subject, and he made a bear and, and uh, bird. bird. Uh, um, but anyway, it's the subject still the same. The conflict of contrast, big, powerful uh, phenomena with much less powerful uh, in our case, country. Uh, and everybody free to choose one party or another party system. So uh, we have our first gr group of volunteers, um, which I would like to invite to the floor. And uh, also we will um, put, uh, you know, um, make it, uh, we have a basket, which I'm going to uh, distribute, you know, give to the audience if anybody would like to volunteer for the second act when the, uh, people will get tired and they will be need to, re be, to be refreshed, then uh, please put your name in and we will figure out the rest. Let's say for half hour if you will. Yes, in half hour we probably can change.
похожий фильм на футбол. начнем с Саликова. Да. А, а вы хотели по полчаса? Полчаса, да? да. Хорошо, ладно. Тогда что? Хорошо. Тогда Алик начнет с этой группы, а я потом... А я сразу же. Да, а потом я... your group, uh, Alex will give you instruction for these two canvases, and you, uh, that's canvases about Ukraine, and the bear, big the bear, bear, and, and, uh, uh, and, the, yeah. and the bees, yeah. uh, and this is about Alex on subject, these okay. two canvases. Okay, so we are doing the bear. Oh, you want to give the bears? We are doing the bears. Yeah. Yeah. Three of us. is not very clear. Uh, as far as I understand, uh, uh, Donald Trump referred to uh, his stomach mostly, I mean the gut feelings. That what I want to do, you know, that the, from your gut, through your gut, it goes into your arm and to the brush. So, I mean, this content of your uh, guts will go directly <laughs> through your arm into the painting, okay? So that's my idea. So you need to... <laughs> yes, uh, kind of, <laughs> and uh, uh, to kind of relieve yourself of, of the content, okay? uh, and that's what it is. Uh, again, I can be mistaken about the uh, placement of a soul within uh, mm -hmm. uh, our uh, terrestrial bodies, but uh, uh, the Americans think it is uh, the guts. The gut feeling is still 
reigns supreme, and uh, and that's what I want from the participants when they start to paint to uh, uh, to get concentrated on, on their guts and trying to to uh, channel the through arm and the fingers into uh, uh, the brush. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, and uh, I'm also shortly explain what's this group basically. Because, uh, to do this. Indeed, yes. <laughs> because uh, I, uh, uh, Alex, continue. Yeah. No, no, that's it. I'm, ah, okay. Uh, uh, I really think that um, it's very difficult to make something improvisation or uh, self-expression by anybody order, anybody subject. It's not self-expression. From my point of view, another way is the illustration. That's artist illustrated, for example, Bible. It's really thousand years, all Renaissance was quite illustrated um, quite differently some subjects. Um, and that's why this group going to make illustration to a uh, famous fable by Aesop which about the bear and bees. There's something very little creatures, but many of them, and they love each other. Uh, they have a victory over the huge power, much bigger than that. This is illustration. It's not self-expression some way. It's a just illustration which became, which you recognize. From my point of view, self-expression without any uh, preliminary order or preliminary subject. Uh, that's sometimes artists have a different point of view. Uh, it's quite normal. All right, let's, let's start. Uh, That is yours. Uh, 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 uh,
Now this canvas is suddenly much more valuable. <laughs>
Vitaly, uh, why, why, why don't you... Okay, we have here in canvas number two, we have our Medvedev and he's the Russian bear that Vitaly told us we must fabricate and uh, what Alex told us we must do from our intestinal fortitude. So we have the Medved and his big claws with his all-seeing eyes, and he found his prey, the American Spider-Man. He is meeting his doom after four movies. So also, I had to do this, she agreed. We had to do the eyes in red in honor and in homage to Vitaly's glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Next, next volunteers, next group, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's, it's really, really brilliant. So our, is this working? Yes. Well, I, I just took my instructions literally and, and produced what normally comes, comes up from that root. There's really nothing more deep to it. The colors struck me as, you know, uh, gastrointestinal. Uh, similarly, I didn't think, I just, uh, just put the paint on the canvas and looked at what colors would go well, and then realized that water kind of blended everything, and so played with that a lot more. Well, we have our next uh, group of volunteers. Uh, our director, Maura Riley, will going to join us. And, <laughs> and then we have a family of Professor Helbeck, and we will, yeah, you want to do it? No? No? And then withdraw from the audience. Come. It's OK. <laughs> so Aaron Kelly. No? Oh, come in, please. Marie, who's Marie? Oh. Anna Gol. Just, uh, Jeremy, be careful with the, with the, Jeremy, Jeremy, the shoes, because this, this is what it's for, so we're going to be messing the floor. Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to do this one. Huh? Um, uh, Marie has one. Jochen has one. Uh, okay. Anna. Anna is guest one. 
So how many people do we have? Okay, we have a few more volunteers. Let's take it from the bottom. Volunteer. Ah, no, please. Is it easy? What's this? What is it? You can photograph. Because they didn't have a chance to explain that's what they okay. think. Oh, okay. Else did and they didn't. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's fine. I'm, I'm so sorry. No, but you, you can do it. Там тянут, тянут. А там тянут. Юрий Лев. А, они, а я думаю, у них будут, ну раз, ладно, тогда уже нам все.
Now we have new, uh, is this working? We have new generation coming to the floor, and they are going to participate also. Agencies. So, uh, can you hear me? No, is it working or no? Okay, good. So uh, we are going now to call the third group of volunteers uh, to put finishing touches on the work. Just kind of the last bits and pieces to make it complete. We will have a group of kids for this canvas, and uh, we will have uh, three more people drawn. Uh, the names drawn out of the basket. Who is easy? 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 Okay. Sulamif Rizik, Rizik. No. Just come. Okay. And Vincent. Uh, yes. Okay. Please come.
while uh, the new group is getting dressed, uh, we will have people uh, tell what they meant while they were drawing the, uh, uh, the artwork. So, um, Maura, uh, Riley. Okay, so we were instructed by Vitale, and we tried to create a bear enraged. So like his claws are, are coming through the other painting and into the, the next. Bravo. <laughs> Professor Jochen Helbeck. Well, I try to dissociate my brain that always figures first and foremost in my life and really do this from the gut using my behind, which is now feeling a little moist. So, <laughs> but it was, it was worth it. Thank you. Thank you. 
Can I not? Thank you. Uh, to uh, say to to give the floor to the participants of our last session to talk about their work, and then we will have a reception in the lobby. Um. Um. So. When I was uh, drawing, painting, I thought I'd make a character. As I went on, I thought, why doesn't the character have hair that is almost a fourth of the canvas? And I decided to make it like long and tangled in this half of the canvas. Because it looked, the canvas looked chaotic, so I thought, so I thought maybe my my addition should be chaotic too. I just did not think about what I would do. I just liked the movement, the nice swing, and. Gave it all my guts. <laughs> she doesn't want to say anything. Okay. She just enjoyed it, as I can tell. How. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for all participants and for all, for all spectators for their, for their uh, inte best intentions. Uh, and I, 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 I'm going to uh, give the mics to uh, our last, uh, last group. Oh. Okay, um, I'm not good at doing things from my gut, so I'm, I'm a very rational person. So I. <laughs> So I tried to bring the painting closer to the original theme, which was Russia and Ukraine. So I tried to draw some sunflowers. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not too good at expressing myself at visual art. Uh, but I'm a psychoanalyst, so I was trying to integrate my unconscious with my gut. And I think it really worked. <laughs> yes. um, I put um, some birds for the, uh, for the birds and the bear. And we put some flowers. And up in the corner, there's a bear, the head of a bear. Thank you. And I like to just uh, um, say that all my experience said that the best artist, brilliant artist, always children. Any kind of children, any any child is a brilliant artist. Unfortunately, later it's not so. Sometimes we are changed. But thank you for everybody, to everybody.